Hey everybody, it's Morgana Hilra here. Just want to show you some things that are on our land for the holidays. I'm still not really complete with this because as you guys know, I was doing a um, kind of uh, something here, something there kind of thing. Like one scene would be, um, you know, a winter scene. And then another scene would be a beach thing a beach theme and another area would be like a spring or you know a whimsical theme and I did that um, so here is my winter theme and if I if I pull out a bit here you can see that I'm still working on the other se scenes but they look pretty you know pretty good I mean I still have to clear up over on the autumn side I've got the autumn side in process and you've got the whimsical area and um, all you have to do is check my blog you'll see um, where everything's from obviously except for this area which you know I'll be blogging eventually um, actually I have blogged most of it um, the snow is from Studio Sky uh, the house is from a, a store that I can't pronounce so we're just gonna leave it at that if you look at my last couple blogs it's under uh, build um, the gazebo is from Emporium, and it's actually part of the Peace on Earth hunt, so it's free. Um, I'm just going to come over here and take a better look at it. There is Alaska. If you guys remember, in one of my posts, I was trying so hard to um, get Alaska as a prize at the, um, the arcade, and I finally got it. Um, what happened was we had actually, my friend and I had gone over to the arcade because I wanted to win some more of these little guys, like the one in the, in the box. That one is from Jean, right? Or Jean, or J John, Jean, whatever. And, uh, I didn't get the one that I really, really wanted. I wanted the, um, I'm not sure if it's a companion dog or if it's a wanderer, but it's a big dog and it's gorgeous. But I didn't get it. I got a whole bunch of other things, but I didn't get that one that I really, really wanted. And then on a kind of whim, I was camming around and I saw the Oblivion one, the Remarkable Oblivion machine, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just throw another try at it. And I got Alaska. And as you know, in my previous post, um, I was talking about Tundra, and Tundra's in the house, and I just, I was like all excited. Uh, the little puppy, the um, Labrador, is actually from a part of the poses that I was using yesterday for a pose shoot with Max, and I'm actually going to include that in the blog post, so you've probably already seen it, or if you haven't, you can always click the link. That's going to be in the description below. Um, it's a pose called I think let me help you with that or something like that so I chose to use the pose and not the full scene however that doesn't mean that I won't be using the scene at another point so I might use it for backdrop of for another pose or something anyway so here is Alaska hello <laughs> cute and here is one of the rare pets that um, came out of the uh, Gian, so it's J I A N. So I might be, ooh, hello. I might be saying it wrong, but whatever. <laughs> and like I said, that is the um, gazebo. I thought it was really pretty. It's got the plants and everything. All right. And for my outfit, there is my outfit. This um, shirt here is part of the women's only hunt. Um, my leggings and boots are available at anybody. It's a mesh event, mesh body event, actually. And of course, there is my hair, which is from Exile. And um, Shiva, go lay down. There's nobody out there. Go. <sighs> my dog is so sad. Anyway, so the hair is from Exile, and you can get that at Collaborate 88. My head um, is from um, Aruka, Arukura. Arukura. I believe that's how you say it. Arukura. Anyway, so it's from Chaos. How about that? Chaos made this head. Now, this is actually um, their most recent release. Now, I forget the name of it, but that's okay. It's going to be in the video. Um, I wanted to take away my HUD stuff because, um, and my frame, because it just gets annoying after a while. But um, not on the head, on the, the actual viewer. Um, 
Now, this particular head, it comes with skin, um, and it's like a dead head kind of thing, like a zombie sort of head. But um, I couldn't get rid of the brows on the HUD. I don't know what the hell was going on. It was these, like, um, penciled-in eyebrows, and it kind of, to me, it didn't look very good. So I tried to remove them, and it wasn't working. So I'm just wondering if I messed up somehow, and I probably did, but I still wanted to blog the head. So the skin that I am wearing is um, from Your Skin, Your Shape. Now, I'm not sure about the name of it. Like I said, make sure you check the details on my blog. But it is Tone 3, and I thought it was really pretty and perfect. And this is like an actually, the HUD is actually made for this skin. So um, <laughs> I was having fun with it. Um, okay, so now that part of the blog, the vlog or video is over, talking about, you know, the, everything on here. Uh, the second part of this is for these people that want to leave now, you can go and check out the blog and all that. But this is for the people that actually follow me to find out what I'm going to gripe about next. So I had this incident happen. And um, the reason that I'm talking about it now is because I've had time to calm down and process. You really do not want to know the video <laughs> that I was going to post. But because um, the thing I, I know is that I can't post videos after something happens. I have to wait, you know, at least 24 hours for my mind to process and for me to calm down. Because that initial video that I make, that first initial um, thought that goes through my head is never good. It's, it's true, it's the truth, but it's raw and it's emotional and it's usually me bawling my eyes out. And that's what happened. So this incident happened with this woman who is supposed to be family. Now, um, the reason I say supposed to be family is because in Second Life, you know, people come and go out of your lives, but you're supposed to be able to make connections with some people and have those connections and not be afraid that if you guys are going to get into a disagreement or argument that they're going to leave you. See, with me, I'm not going to leave anybody that I consider family, okay? I don't care if we are throwing mud at each other. I don't care if we are screaming matching at each other, okay? Because just like in real life, you're not going to get along 24-7. You're always going to have something sometime that you're going to argue about, and that's life. That is what happens, okay? We're all not perfect. We all have disagreements. We all have, quote-unquote, knee-jerk reactions, okay? Um... <sighs> Just like something that they do may affect me differently than it would affect them, okay? For me, what had happened was insulting, okay? I felt very hurt by it because um, it was insulting. Now, I agree with my mom. The first initial reaction that I had was because of somebody else making a comment on a photo that I had taken. And I, I didn't react well to that comment, okay? Now, sure, it was just the word yikes, okay? Now, everybody is making this big deal about what it was. It doesn't matter what the word was. It doesn't matter what the comment was. What matters is the way I felt about it, okay? Just like you, if you have a problem with somebody and it could be something simple, it could be, some, it could be nothing, okay, to other people, but to you, it doesn't matter what they think. It's what you think, how you feel. Your feelings are what's important, not somebody else's or not how they would have perceived it. It's how you perceived it, okay? So that's how I perceived it. It was, it was a rude comment, and I was trying to get to the bottom of it. Well, my family member comes along, and she says, I agree with so-and-so, right? I'm not going to say either one of their names, so you guys can forget that. People involved know who it was. Okay, so... I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I mean, it's the holiday season and you're coming to my profile and you're saying these kind of things about my friend, okay? Like, okay, yeah, I know the, I know this person has enemies. So what? So do I. But that doesn't give you the reason, the right to go to somebody's photo and say stupid comments. And it was a stupid comment. Now, the fact that they had to have seen that I was not exactly happy about the comment in the first place and then to go and add on top of that and they're supposed to be family so that kind of that's what hurt more okay was the fact that they came over and they said that okay and I was just like wait a minute 
You can clearly see that I was not happy about the initial comment. So for you, my family member, to come and make a comment on that thing by adding to it, it was, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It felt like a betrayal, okay? It felt to me that my feelings didn't matter to this person. And that is how it was perceived to me. Now, it doesn't matter if she didn't mean it that way, which I'm sorry, but how else is it supposed to be taken? But see, I know I'm getting loud. I'm getting, you know, winded and stuff. But the thing is, is I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to explain it so that way they understand how I felt. Okay. Because again, my profile, my photo, my friend, nasty comment, her comment, my feelings about that comment. Okay. <laughs> it's not like this happened at some random place or a public forum or something like that. This happened on my Facebook where I choose who I put on my Facebook, okay? It's not like Flickr where everybody starts following you and can comment on everything. This is people that I have put on my list myself, okay? So I'm sorry. I had every right to react the way I did. So I tried to explain to her that... It didn't come over as respectful. It was disrespectful. And she was trying to say that it is respectful or, or it wasn't meant disrespectfully. But how am I supposed to perceive it when I sit there and I try to tell you it upset me? The proper thing to do, and this is what I would have done if I had been in that situation, if the roles were reversed. I would have said, I'm sorry that you felt that way. It wasn't my intention. Ta-da! Issue frigging solved. You, you make, you apologize for making the situation worse and you move on. Still family, still friends, still going on with life, okay? See, now this all hurt me because we had talked at the beginning of the week about hanging out this weekend and taking pictures, all right? Because I had just redone all this stuff on my prop, well, not my prop, our home, but you know, I say my property, but it's mine and Tiss Reels, and everybody knows that. So, Tiss, don't get up and get all upset about that. Anyway, so um, I was upset about that because obviously now that's not going to happen. And, you know, spending time with my family is really important to me. I want to spend time with them, okay? I mean, I highly doubt that my uncle and I are going to be hanging out anytime soon because of this. I highly doubt that I'm going to hang out with any of my other family because of this, because they're not going to want that awkward situation. My last intent was to cause any kind of problem. My only intent was to explain to her that this is how I feel. And the proper response would have been, I am sorry that I made this comment and you felt this way. That was not my intention. That is how grown-ups handle things. And that was not how it was handled. And then... I could have, as I told my mom, I could have gotten past that. I could have gotten past the argument about the comments. Um, I could have gotten past the rudeness. But what I can't get past is not only did she do this, she turned around, called me a two-year-old emo drama queen. Then removed me, blocked me, and went on her merry way. <laughs> it's like... What the fuck? You're supposed to be my family. You promised all of these things that you would not do. You promised that no matter what, okay, we could argue left, right, and center, but you would never leave me because we're a family and that's what family is for. So what happened? We argued. She left. Okay? So lie number one, okay? Now we're going on with the lies here because she's accusing me of slander. Slander is when you say something about another person that is not true. Okay, so follow me here. She promised that she would never, ever leave, okay? That we could argue left, right, and center, but a disagreement or an argument does not cease to be family, okay? Families fight. So lie number one, she said she wasn't going to leave, and she did. Lie number two, okay? She said no matter what, she would never, ever sit there, call me names, belittle me, and put me down. But yeah, she did. So that's lie number two, okay? Lie number two actually hurt more than all of it because that's kind of, you know, sick. It's, 
you don't do shit like that, okay? Especially if you know that your family member or even your friend has self-esteem issues. Come on now, people. Like, that's a big secret to you. <laughs> I know I have self-esteem issues, and it's not like Second Life exactly helps with them. So, okay, so she promised that. Um, she promised me that she would never intentionally hurt me. And sure, she may not have intentionally hurt me, but the fact that she would not own up to the fact that what she did or what she said did hurt me, she goes off and spouts her nastiness. So yeah, that's called intentionally hurting somebody. So that's three lies, okay? So there we are, three lies. Now, I'm just waiting for like the next shoe to drop. I'm waiting to see what she does next because I was talking to my mom about this. Now, I didn't see the, um, the, the status before because when I made the comment, the status was just an unhappy face. It wasn't edited yet, okay? If I had seen that, uh, the new status that my mom put up, I wouldn't have put that comment there at all. But that's besides the point. I'm not mad at my mom. My mom's awesome, okay? My mom is the best person in the entire family. I'm sorry, but she is. So, <clears throat> um, my mom and I were talking about it in the, um, comment section on her status, right? And I'm like, you know, I've tried. <coughs> now, this person, this family member has actually upset me multiple times. But I'm usually the bigger person. I just turn and walk away. And I just, you know, I'm you know, I put it up as, I, I put it off, sorry, as miscommunication or we're just not meshing well that day. Whatever the reason, I just walk away or I log out or I just like start doing blogging or something, you know? Either way, I've never, ever, ever called this person names. I've never put them down. I've never made them feel bad, okay? Not purposely, because they sure as hell haven't told me anything. If they had, I would have rectified it. Problem solved. But the thing is, is this person's just not grasping the concept that what she's done is made things worse. Like, a ton worse. She must have known I was going to say something on my videos. And I know that she's still subscribed, so she's going to get this update. But the thing is, is that... She could have ended all of this with a simple apology if the roles were reversed. Actually, no. See, the thing is that the roles would not have been reversed because I would not go to her profile and say something like that. If I saw somebody being nasty to my family member, I would have stuck up for my family member, you know? <coughs> but she didn't. She added to the mix, and then when I got upset about it, she got even more upset with me. It's like, Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do? I can't be perfect. I'm not perfect. I have feelings. I have a knee-jerk reaction. I am temperamental, and I do blow up sometimes. But having somebody who's supposed to care about me adding to the mix, <laughs> yeah, that does upset me. So, <laughs> mm. Sorry, I had to take a drink because I got a tickle in the back of my throat. One second. <coughs> Ow. Sorry, I tried to move the mic. All right, so as I was saying, my mom and I were talking about it in her comments, right? And I said, you know, if she treats family this way, I would hate to see how she treats enemies. Oh, well, that got her attention. She decided to unblock me so I could see her response. And... I think I read maybe two lines of it and I just said, screw it, you know. I said, bugger off. You're not my family. Families don't treat each other like this, plain and simple. And I blocked her, plain and simple, okay. I can't have that in my life. I need people that I can count on in my life. I need people that know that they can count on me and I want to be able to count on them just the same. All I'm asking for is emotional support. I'm not asking for financial support. I'm not asking you to fight my battles. I'm just asking you to be there and be honest with me. I don't think that's too much to ask. If it's too much to ask, then fine. There's the door. Leave. Because I would rather have people around me that when they tell me they're going to do something or not going to do something, when they tell me that they're there for me no matter what, I want it to be the truth. Okay? Arguments do not end friendships. Arguments do not end family. Not if they mean it. Okay? Not if you mean you're my family or if they mean you're my friend. <sighs> 
I'm really hurt by this. I'm still upset about this. It happened yesterday and I'm still like, I'm still livid because, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person, I say I'm going to do something and I do it. I say, I say something and I mean it. I, you know, where's the necklace to this? Oh man, I'm a friggin' magpie. Oh, look shiny. That's exactly what it was. Anyway, um, am I going to miss her? Fuck yeah. Of course I am. Like I said, for me to consider her family, she must have meant something to me. And for the fact that she doesn't give a shit anymore is like so obviously telling me yesterday, actually telling me yesterday morning that she loves me and she cares about me and she's hoping that I'm doing fine. And then that evening doing all this, obviously what she said in the morning was a lie. And that's an assumed lie, okay? She must have lied, because if not, we'd still be talking today. We'd do our pictures today. We'd be hanging out. But no, <laughs> of course not. <sighs> I'm angry as fuck right now. I'm pissed off at her. I'm hurt by her. I'm upset by her. However, unlike her, if she needs me, I'll always be there. Okay? I haven't muted her. Oh, wait, no. On Facebook, I have. I've removed her everywhere. Okay? Um, I think I've even muted her um, uh, ability to comment on my videos. I don't know. I don't remember. I was really angry last night, and I went around, and I did what I could. Um, I don't believe she's on my block list, but it's possible. I might remove her. Who knows? But the thing is, is that... <sighs> When I say I'm going to be there for somebody, I'm there for them. So, you know, once I'm finally calmed down, I'll go and reverse everything. I'll unblock her on Facebook. I'll unblock her on whatever the hell it is that I have her blocked on. Just so that if she does need me, then I'll be there. But this all could have been avoided with a simple apology. Just a simple apology. How hard was that? Admit that you were wrong. And it could have been fixed. And you can't tell me that you weren't wrong. You saw that I was getting upset. You saw where my mind was going. You should have stopped it and said, I'm sorry that I said this and it made you feel this way. That would have solved everything. But you didn't. You just kept on going and going and going and going. And it's just like <sighs> anybody with autism or any sort of mental issues and anybody who's normal knows what that feels like. Okay, having somebody just sit there and peg at you and peg at you and peg at you. Well, say you're a normal person and somebody's doing that shit to you. Now intensify that feeling by like a thousand. That's how it feels. And then you start second guessing yourself, wondering, did I get too upset? Or, um, and then you go back and you read it again and it's like, no, it's the same reaction. And I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. I want to hold on to my sanity this year, but it seems that around Christmas time, it's like, Matt said it best. Around Christmas time, I just, I just have this massive falling out with people. However, in the past, the people that I've had these fallings out with, they didn't last very long. Maybe a couple of hours. And then we're back to being friends again. This other person, this family member, the fact that she was supposed to be my family made it that much worse. Okay? <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to count on my family. And they're supposed to be able to count on me. And like I said, unlike her, I will calm down and I'll go and reverse everything. Um, however, I know she's not going to. And I know that this is probably never going to get fixed because she doesn't see what she did as wrong. She sees me as being wrong. And it was my profile. It was comments that were upsetting me. I ended up removing the photo. It's like, I shouldn't have had to do that. I shouldn't have felt that I had to do that, but I did because I'm so tired of people picking on me. I mean, you can call me a whiny emo, whatever you want to call me. I would rather be a little emo bitch than have no feelings and no care about anybody else but myself because that's what it felt like. You could have ended this and you didn't. You chose that, not me. Anyway, everybody else, I hope you have a really awesome holiday. I hope that the people having bad times, I hope it looks up for you. That's my Christmas wish is that everyone has at least, you know, a couple days where they're worry free and, you know, they're happy. I want people to be happy this year. Anyway, 
I'm really upset about all of this and you know I wish that I could say that I just move on and get over it but I can't promise to be able to do that because like I said the fact that I considered her family the fact that she was in my profile up until last night it just hurts you know and I'm not a monster I can't just get over it like that I can't switch off my feelings like that do you know how hard it is for somebody like me to have feelings and to be actually able to process them properly it's really hard <laughs> I can't even express that but you know whatever I guess my friendship to her wasn't as important as it was to me anyway talk to you guys later I hope you have an awesome life. <laughs> Bye.